Once I have breakfast, I'm going to get ready and head to Ruben's Deli, which is one of our haiku stockists. I need to drop off some more matcha, and I'm also going to meet a friend and just have a matcha as well while I'm there because they make them so good there. You definitely have to go. I love their strawberry iced haiku matcha. It is absolutely delicious, and if you haven't had it already, I would highly recommend checking it out. They also just have the most amazing food there, so it really is one of my favorite places to go to get food and obviously matcha. This just looks so delicious. This mango is literally bringing me back to life. It is so good, so juicy. Mm. All right, I've just gotten dressed and ready for the day, but as you can see, we've still yet to clean up the apartment, but look, this is, this is just a later problem, okay? So for now, we're just gonna concentrate on what I'm wearing and I'm going to leave the house and deal with it when I get back. Starting with the shoes, I've got my Chanel ballet flats on, which I swear I wear every single week in my vlogs, but they really are just my favorite. These jeans are from Van Roy. I absolutely love this brown color. I just think they're so flattering, so chic. It's actually the first time that I'm wearing them, but I know that it's not gonna be the last. I really love them. Just got this jumper in from Arquette. I don't know if you can really see how beautiful the color is on camera, but it's sort of got a bit of like a washed burgundy, like red wine sort of color. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I think it pairs so well with the brown in the jeans. And then I've just got my slouchy little Prada bag, which again, I have been wearing non-stop recently. It just fits everything. I also just love it with all my outfits, especially when I'm wearing tones like this. I think it works really well. Scent of the day is this one from Dipti. And I just got these new sunglasses from La Specs that I was thinking to potentially wear if they go with the outfit. They're really not my usual style. I feel like all the sunglasses that I wear are either like tortoise shell or black, but I thought I'd get them for something a little bit different and for spring. I don't know, I don't really think they suit me that much, but they are kind of cute and I might bring them along. Yesterday, I also did microneedling on my face. I did a scarlet treatment, which is a treatment that helps with skin tightening and rejuvenation. And I've had it before, but not for quite a few years. So I was really excited to try it again. And it went really well. The numbing cream was amazing. I honestly couldn't really feel a thing when they were doing it, except for today, I do have a little bit of redness just around the side of my face, but you can't tell anymore because I put quite a bit of makeup on. just arrived at Hotel Indigo in Melbourne CBD. This hotel is just on Flinders Lane and I've actually never stayed here before. Anyways, the reason that I'm actually staying here tonight is because Hotel Indigo has released a limited edition candle collection, which highlights all the different neighborhoods that the hotel resides all across Australia and New Zealand. The collection is called The Sense of the Neighborhood and it includes five different candles that are individually crafted to represent Hotel Indigo neighborhoods in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Auckland. Any guests that book to stay at Hotel Indigo properties across Australia between now and 30th of November will be gifted one of these limited edition candle sets and you'll receive them on check-in on a first come first serve basis while stocks last. These candles honestly smell so good. I cannot even explain. I absolutely love the Melbourne one, even though I don't actually drink coffee anymore. I still love the smell of coffee beans, like roasted coffee beans. I love how Hotel Indigo has such a focus on the neighborhood that the hotel is actually located in, in each city. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I was part of the neighborhood swap campaign at the end of last year with Hotel Indigo, where I went and stayed at Hotel Indigo Shibuya and a Tokyo influencer came and stayed at this hotel, Hotel Indigo Flinders Lane. It is actually a bit of a full circle moment that I'm now getting to experience Hotel Indigo Melbourne this time. The influencer that came to Melbourne when I went to Tokyo, I ended up actually meeting her in Tokyo earlier this year and she was just so sweet. And it was just so nice actually meeting face to face because we spoke so much over those couple of days that we were both in each other's cities. We were sending each other so many different recommendations the whole time and just DMing literally nonstop. So meeting her in person was kind of surreal but also just so lovely. Currently all my mascaras are clumping, so I think it's a sign that I really need to get a new one. But there's really no mascara that I have like any real loyalty to or any brand that I think is like really amazing when it comes to mascara. So if there are any that you guys really love or you would really recommend, please let me know below and I'm gonna go and buy them. Just decided that I'm just gonna have 
bad hair tonight and it is what it is. There's really nothing I can do. It's just not sitting right. So it's fine. Hopefully it will just settle. Hotel Indigo were so generous and they actually gave me some credit to spend at the hotel. And I invited my friend to come meet me for dinner before we head out later, but she has a work dinner beforehand. So I'm gonna go down to the restaurant, check it out, have some food and meet her after. And I'm gonna bring you guys along because I'm gonna be eating dinner myself. So I figure we can eat dinner together. back from the gym and I'm just making myself some dinner. I probably saw myself making this dish at least five times so you guys are definitely familiar with it. It is just this rice bowl that I make that has some tuna and some egg, some spinach and some condiments. Pretty much I just put a lot of chili oil and soy sauce on it and it tastes amazing. This is my favorite tuna and usually the one that I will use for this dish. I kind of like that it doesn't have that much flavor so I can sort of add the flavors that I like to add to it. Sometimes I'll have two fried eggs with this but I'm not that hungry tonight so I think I will just have one. I had like a pretty big snack right before I went to the gym so I'm not even that hungry for dinner but it is 6.30 so it's dinner time. I feel like this vlog has been a little bit sporadic and chaotic which is kind of representative of the last couple of weeks of my life in general. I just feel like there's been so much going on. I'm just gonna set a timer for 15 minutes for this rice. I actually should really get a rice cooker. And the only reason I don't have one is because there's just like no space in this kitchen to add a rice cooker. And if I got one, I would have to keep taking it in and out of the pantry. And I already do that with so many of my other appliances. And it's actually just so annoying. So I've kind of just like held off and instead I just cook rice on the stove, which is not ideal, but it's fine. I definitely feel like things have been very up and down. Obviously the egg freezing and retrieval took up a lot of energy and also sort of threw me off my content plan a little bit. But given that is now all over, I do sort of anticipate that I'll be able to get back into a little bit more of a routine. And I have been posting so much more on TikTok and Instagram the last few days. So if you do want to just get across a little bit more content from me, definitely check out those two platforms but i've said this before and i think this will always be the case my favorite platform to post on is definitely youtube i just feel the most connected to you guys here i think i just really love the process of creating a youtube video from start to finish and i also just really love the community that i have built here with you guys and i really do feel connected with you guys on this platform so i will never stop posting on youtube anyways i feel like i'm in a real yap 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 mood this last week which is why that is probably also coming across a lot in this episode oil that I like to use and it is so delicious. take you guys along first thing i need to do is go and get my car washed because it is absolutely filthy so while that happens i think i'll just head to a cafe get some work done and then i've got a lunch in the city an event this evening and i'm also seeing maxine which will be the highlight of the day because i have not seen her in a while and i'm really looking forward to it back when i used to live in Donbell, which is the area that i grew up in i used to always just wash my car myself because i lived in a house but now that i live in an apartment it's impossible to wash your car yourself because there's actually no taps or hoses in the communal garage area which kind of annoys me because i used to kind of like washing my own car i found it very therapeutic and relaxing Comment saying this is fake. <laughs> <laughs> 